Welcome back. Now, if you are a resident in Lagos, it is not uncommon to see trailers and tankers parked on the roads and the bridges. They've unfortunately become a menace and a nuisance to us. We've seen incidences of trailers falling. We had the one at the Ojuelegba Bridge. We've seen incidences of them being, being parked for days, thereby constituting traffic because there's nowhere for commuters to pass through. But you would remember that there have been times when we hear that the president is visiting Lagos State and all of a sudden, all these trailers have disappeared and we are asking, so they can be actually cleared from the roads? Where have they been cleared to? And why are they still on our roads? These questions are what we will continually asking because we all want to get rid of traffic in Lagos. And one way is to not just fix our roads, but to clear the road, rig the road of all these tankers and trailers. Most especially on, on Apapa, it's not you know, a pretty sight and we want to get rid of them. So what exactly? is a solution to traffic in Lagos with regards to the tankers and the trailers. Despite all efforts to stop them, tankers and container trucks have for years converted Lagos roads and bridges into illegal parks causing traffic gridlocks and throwing commuters and residents of the metropolis into untold hardship. It's still obvious the trailers are too bad. There are too many on the road now. They parked unnecessarily. They thought this place is a, 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 a junk of which they disturb many Nigerians on their business days. Even to go to work is very terrible. It causes hold up. Um, government should really do something about them. So it has affected me, it has made me gone late to work because though I'm, not, I'm an early bed anyway, but sometimes even in the midnight, early in the morning, you still see them. It has affected me so much. A journey of 45 minutes sometimes could be a journey of two hours. And then it could cause hiccup from here down to Apapa. And then before you get to where you divert at stadium. Maybe I, do, I cannot say to you, I believe that but the, task, uh, the task was set up by the federal government is for both Apapa and Oshodi, Abapa Expressway. But they are not doing well in that area. But I think the factor that's responsible for that is the construction along that road. It affects my business, it affects my job, because I, I actually live and work in a very close vicinity. I live in Bagada, I work in the Keja, Alausa. It's meant to be, on a normal day, less than 30 minutes traffic. But because of the, um, the, the trailers on the road, the, the, the construction going on up and down, Sometimes you, you are in traffic for two hours or more. It has basically made the road very, very tight. Like, the traffic these days is very, very slow. Like, you get to spend an extra hour on the road where I may spend like five minutes. And the moment you allow trailers to park incessantly on the road, it becomes a problem. We don't need short answers. I don't want to put man for this government attack. They don't, they don't tire per se. Every time they always talk about the, the trailer or whatever, the trailer, but not, no changes they make. So. We just, we just, they look. But it seems the Lagos state, federal government and stakeholders are determined to dislodge them. And the question remains, how and when, since they've now become an ever present on our highways. Uh, there is a lot government can do. Because uh, when you sit to reach, you will know government, they are our father. And it's most important we will rely on them. But notwithstanding, we, the public, we have a lot to do to help the government. So when you see a truck being parked in a place that is not appropriate, you have the right as a citizen to inform concerned authority what you saw. The government should, uh, should enforce, you know, the rules because I'm sure that that park is meant for them. They are not meant to park on the road. So as an individual, you could raise an alarm. The, the, the indecent parking should be a general crusade to every Lagosha. Because I believe what affects me also affects everybody at the long run. So we should, we should not be saying the government, the government, the government should be doing everything. The government cannot be everywhere. We believe in we two doing the right thing at the right time. Likewise, we should try to be part of it. Or oh, they should actually create um, a parking area for the trucks and vehicles instead of waiting on the road. So when, once the airport is open, they'll be able to, you know, go there, get what they want and not stay on the road as a parking lot. And the government we are having today, they are not doing what we expected. But they're supposed to, they're not, those, you know, the truck is not supposed to park at the side of the road. They're supposed to have a, a, a terminal where they will park. 
or the container, some have a terminal. The government supposed to provide a terminal for them to park. But when they are causing a congestion on the road, it causes a lot of traffic and problem on the road. The federal government has to find a permanent solution to that area too. They should try. Maybe they should check more task force in that place. You understand me? In order for that road to be passable for the people. The government has to do something about them. Put, in the, put them in a place of which they have to, be, they have to, they have to park. I remember some time years ago, growing up in Lagos, I remember there was this thing they tried to initiate where vehicles with um, odd number plates would go, would commit on certain days and then even number plates would commit on certain days. That actually helped traffic back then. I don't know whether it's going to work now, but if they could look into doing something like that, it would help the congest vehicles on the road. You know, then if they could also limit the construction to after work hours, maybe in the evenings and then in the nights, not evenings. Now only when they decide, say, okay, they want, they want pity us, uh -huh. so maybe they pity us. When they decide they want pity us, move the team. Uh -huh. They feel down, but it may be so. For many years, commuters and residents of Apapa, Surulere, Ijora, Mile 2 and their environs have suffered no thanks to the indiscriminate parking by drivers and owners of container vehicles moving in and out of the seaports. Man work hour is reduced. It takes, yeah, it, a journey will take uh, normally like 30 minutes, you now end up taking like 6 hours. And that's a huge, huge cost on, on, on for the personnel and for our own members. Today making it one month and two is three days that I've been in this hold up. Still yet, I've not looked. I've not dropped my empty, no money to feed. Nothing, nothing. In fact, we are tired of this hold up. I'm not sleeping because once we sleep, they will steal our battery, our spare tire, throw our dad. They, will lose, they can lose anything in the motor, all those boys, bad boys. All the trailers are going in either to go and load in the port, or some are going either to delivery deliver goods to the port. So this is the reason why you see them on the road like this. Even when we look at this issue of uh, the state of the Lagos port, one would have thought that uh, uh, ships should be asked to call in other ports while this process is, under, is going. Um, but, but no action has been taken. Gradually, booming businesses during the day and beehive at nightfall have crumbled with businesses relocating from these areas with little care paid to residents and commuters until truck drivers develop further wings, stretching to occupy more roads, highways and bridges. It has even affected the markets because people are saying, oh, there's traffic, having to move a good from one place to another has caused an increase in price. The only people that are doing business here, taxi cannot apply here, it's Okada people. Everywhere. If the cost of delivery of some of these items continues to increase, the companies, as far as possible, will have to transfer the cost to their consumers. And that means an increase in prices. So it also has an inflationary uh, implication. It has effect on the welfare of the people. From Oshodia Papa Expressway, extending to Western Avenue, Mobile Road, Ijora, Ikorodu Road, up onto Echo Bridge, with residents of Lagos wasting valuable hours in gridlocks orchestrated by trucks and bad roads. They paralyze this Amu world of business. There's no, left, there's no anything like business for this Amu world of especially. This container starts from where Amu world of it starts. They are held from where Amu world of it ends at coconut there. The whole I'm world of here, yeah. there's no road. A lot of people come to Beggars to buy car, buy goods every day. We sell cars, more than 100, 200, 300, and a lot of business, the spare pass is moving every day. But now, the whole beggar cannot boast of five cars a day. The whole beggar, everybody's hungry, including me. Because once there is traffic, the level of atrocities and the criminality aspect of it becomes higher. Like as in now, look at traffic now. Well, this traffic like I even stay till 10, 11 o'clock, you see rubbing. Big man cannot leave the car on the traffic now. He do stay, wind up, relaxing. They will come and knock. I got to show us love. When there's no love, it will rub. I think if there's love now, uh -huh, everything will be peacemaker. It is hoped that someday the menace of trailers, trucks and tankers on the roads, bridges and highways will become a thing of the past. Though there are other factors that aid in the congestion, like bad roads, port concessions, and alleged overcharging of truck drivers by port authorities.
to enjoy more of this our 